Hello everyone and welcome back. Today let's discuss one of the most burning questions that you might uh, have and that is what is the placement scenario in Bitspilani like. Uh, so I'll be doing this in three parts. One is a campus wise comparison. The second is a single degree versus a dual degree comparison and the third being a core and non core comparison. So stay tuned. So uh, first uh, talking about the campus wise differences. So campus wise there is not too much of a difference in placements. Um, in an internal placement orientation uh, we were told that uh, the Goa and Hyderabad campuses are coming up quite well in comparison to the Pilani campus and this was around two years ago. So the differences would be even smaller now and uh, um, I don't think there's a reason to feel uh, that the Goa and Hyderabad campuses have inferior placements for any reason. That's not true. So uh, there is actually a campus wise list of recruiters available on the Bits Pilani website. So here you can see the links of all these. So if you want to check these out, you can simply uh, go to uh, just Google Bits Pilani and in this www.bitsplanet.ac.in go to this website here select whatever campus you want to check so let's say Pilani campus now go to the placements tab and go to the list of recruiters so here you should be able to see all the companies that have visited uh, bits in the past uh, particularly the Pilani campus here so uh, you can do this exercise for all the other campuses as well. Coming back to this, uh, the lists might be a little bit outdated. Uh, they have not been updated uh, for a bit of time yet, but uh, they should give you an overall uh, idea of how things are, uh, what uh, recruiters are there. There would be some additions, there would be some deletions, but overall it's a good general picture to have. So now coming to the single degree versus dual degree placements. So even in case of a dual degree, the placements depend generally on your BE, except in some exceptional cases where MSc Eco can have its own placement opportunities. But in general, the BE is what decides your placements. So the dual degree students appear with the single degree students uh, of the next batch for their placements. So there might be an implicit advantage here that they are appearing one year later than their single degree counterparts uh, of their batch I mean. So the advantage is that like every year the uh, placement unit tries something new, gets newer companies on board and uh, the older companies have uh, have more in like uh, by, the, by each year passing they have more and more faith uh, in uh, bits, their faith increases uh, year by year. So appearing in placements just a year later might be kind of an advantage uh, some new companies some new opportunities might be there so there is sort of an implicit advantage uh, to this now as when it comes to discrimination between uh, single degree and dual degree students there is not much um, the companies actually they know that what counts what matters uh, for you working uh, or for you making profits for them will be your skills that you earn in college and not your plus one plus two prep or bit side score so there's no reason for companies to doubt your abilities and uh, that is why there's little to no discrimination uh, this is especially true in CS and IT companies. In CS and IT companies, no one cares um, if you are a single degree student, if you are a dual degree student. Most of the cases you won't see any difference and uh, you can up just apply anywhere. Among core companies, uh, there is sometimes some disparity. Uh, like some companies did allow, uh, did disallow dual edge, for example, in our year, like one or two years back, uh, Bajaj did not allow uh, dualites, but uh, certain other companies also gave an edge to dualites. They probably consider the MSc as additional knowledge and uh, they give an edge and they give a preference to dualites. So uh, it kind of evens out. 
now coming to the core placements so core placements as you might be knowing are a little bit shaky uh, all throughout the country it's not just specific to bits but if you are competent you will get placed in uh, in in a core company that's not a problem but on a large scale um, there is a sh- i would say shortage of jobs for core uh, for the lack of a better word but yes if you are competent you will find something Uh, a large a very large fraction of core branch students uh, do end up taking um, non core jobs they can be in it finance banking consulting etc and uh, one good news for bitsians is that recently and this is probably because bits uh, got the institute of eminence uh, tag um, because of that recently psus uh, two of them uh, gale and iocl have started visiting uh, for core branch students basically in pilani campus so that's a good news um, i i i hope i suppose that uh, other psus will also start visiting the pilani campus and as well as um, all these psus will also start visiting the other campuses as well so four years down the line i think that should be the case and talking about the non core placements so most IT company. This is a very common question that can I sit for IT placements if I do not belong to CS? So yes, you can. And most companies, most IT companies will allow CS and circuit branches, meaning CS, ENI, EEE, and ECE. And some fewer companies uh, will allow all branches, including mechanical, civil, and chemical. Um, some have their own specific criteria, uh, varying by branch. so for example in our year uh, samsung set the cs uh, cgpa cut off at 7.5 but for other branches for triple and eni it was 8.5 so they can have their own restrictions uh, that they can place what else so in bits um, most of the people or a very large number of people um, get jobs uh, by ppos Uh, which are called which are pre placement offers and these are from their pre final year internships or ps2 a ps2 is kind of a 6 month internship in a company so this is provided to you by bits um, i will have another detailed video on this but companies generally give ppos after observing candidates for such long duration so if you are working with a company for 6 months and you have uh, uh, exhibited good performance so they will consider you and uh, offer you a job and uh, it's really common for core branch students to use this opportunity of uh, ps2s and uh, these internships to land non core jobs this is particularly important because sometimes um, it is difficult for a uh, for a core branch student to justify a, a job in the non core sector during the placement season because during the placement season uh, all they have all the com- the, the companies um, they only have 3 hours or something like that to judge you based on tests based on interviews and all so their guidelines are uh, very strict their criteria are very strict but when it comes to offering internships uh, they are a bit little bit more lenient so because they know that they'll be observing you for the course of the next few months so they might even offer you an internship or a ps2 opportunity even if your resume is not very very well matching to what they want uh, they will be a little bit lenient because they know that they anyway have a time of 6 months to observe and decide so that is why these uh, ps2 and internships become very important uh, to get a job where po- possibly your resume might not be the best fit so that becomes a very good feature and a, it's a very specific feature to bits and uh, it's a very useful one uh, for that reason so i guess that's about it uh, i would like to thank neeraj mishra for his uh, inputs on psus visiting the pilani campus uh, i'll see you next time